Um, so for me, the movie was a perfect uh, combination of drama and, and the comedy, a uh, feel-good movie. And I was wondering, for you as a director, how challenging is it to keep the balance between uh, funny, heartwarming moments and sad ones? Um, yeah, for, I mean, military-wise, was that challenge to be true to the mi military families who kept telling me and being quite funny and telling me they have a lot of laughs. They only really get through their lives. Like anybody, you need to have a laugh. Um, so it's really in the scripting and in the editing that when you're trying to, you don't really, the director doesn't have, you have it in your mind, but until you see it all roll together, those gear changes are a lot in the writing, but a lot in the edit as well, where you kind of try and make those transitions and use music to help you lift from one to the other. But I've been really surprised. Sometimes the fact that everyone feels quite emotional can make a not very funny joke much funnier. Like at the end of the movie, <laughs> he takes that parking ticket off the car. I mean, it's not the most brilliant joke in the world. Yeah. But everyone really laughs because they've been trying not to cry for ages when the women are singing and that gives them that release to laugh. So it's been really rewarding. You know, you can hear it in the room. Everyone's sniffing and then they all... There's nothing better than laughing when you feel a bit upset. Right. And uh, so the core element, of course, is the singing. Um, were the actors on set, you know, comfortable right away with the singing or did you have to push them a little to squeeze it out of them? Yeah, I mean, really the singing side of it Partly the fact that I'd never seen a film based on military families shot on a military base, but the fact that it had singing at the heart of it, just the whole idea of getting into that and choosing the songs and working with the actors and the mm -hmm. music director was just really appealing. And it was really fun doing the singing scenes. Um, I mean, a lot of them were nervous about their singing voices, unnecessarily, really, um, <laughs> because there was yeah. a, quite a lot of... I think some actors just didn't want to come in for the, any audition or any meetings if they were really worried about their voices. So most of the women who came in, they're not too bad at singing. They may not be professional singers, but some of them are really good singers and some of them, most of them are kind of okay singers. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a case of, yeah, giving them the confidence initially to go for it. And then it was a case of bringing them back when they got a bit too confident sometimes. Um, <laughs> and also just stopping them over rehearsing. They kept rehearsing, especially the early two or three songs when these are supposed to be real women on a real base who've never been in a choir before and never. So I kept hearing them like doing secret little rehearsals of those early songs and stopping them because I wanted it to feel very, very fresh and spontaneous. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we shot those quite quickly and I would turn over, I wouldn't rehearse, I would just get one in positions and just turn over. And so they're kind of working out as they go along on camera, which was really important to have that spontaneity. Mm -hmm. And this is a beautiful message that you don't have to be perfect, but you have to be passionate and you have to care about it and you should not give up. Um, would you say that also counts for filmmaking? Can you relate to that? Well, life in general, I think just, I say it to my kids, just turn up. <laughs> yeah. Turn up and be nice to people, you know, um, because that's, that's what it is about a choir. It's just, you don't need to be that good. You need to be quite well organized. You need to practice quite a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but it's about all very ordinary singers. If you all sing together, it can sound amazing, but you don't have to be individually amazing. Mm -hmm. And so Kate is not, she's kind of critical, but the group doesn't uh, realize at the beginning how important she's going to be for them. Um, I was wondering how important were critical voices in your life in order to, um, you know, to make your skills shine? You mean anymore? people criticizing me? Yeah. Oh, I criticize myself. I oh, really? Other people. <laughs> so you had to <laughs> overcome that yourself. Yeah. Basically. My dad always said, "Don't be boring." That's always his thing. Whenever I was going off first at film school and stuff like that, it was his motto is, "Don't be boring." Mm. <laughs> 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 so, um, one of the things that really amazed me is that that you have so many characters in the movie, and sometimes you feel like you have four characters and you don't know them. But here you have so many, and but. Everyone is individual, and you you care for all of them. But it seems like a hard task, is it? Is it? It is. You get about the cast. I mean, the actors were so good. It's about the casting, and you know, I was very keen to make find very individual roles. So really, it was a lot of the minor characters were developed around the actors. I just met lots of actors. I said to the casting director, Judy Harkin, "I just need we need to find characters that are going to stand up, and in the lineup, you're going to remember each one, and they're going to." have a life of their own and so it was more a case of meeting and then finding we actually invented the roles for those minor characters like Maz and um, Helen who are only have a few lines but they really are quite memorable you know you just know that one's into football or one can't really sing and so they really developed even while we were shooting they were kind of becoming more developed as characters so it was a real joy to work with that kind of ensemble.